if we can get something that relates to today's to society today and electric does it doesn't offend as men it doesn't offend uh it you don't have to have had uh you know three yeah, years yeah. of shop Sheep. class until you know starting out building briggs and stratton engines and then figuring out how to run a small block chevy and rebuild the carburetor and then and then learn about fuel injection stuff and then learn about how to boost something and then get into all it's it's complicated man it's and it is we love that about racing but unfortunately with the lack of those types of education options um if people don't see something if young people don't see something exciting young people are buying teslas and electric cars all day long now if you can get them out to the track you give them some performance upgrades you build them a bit bigger battery if you can get them some a way that they can tweak their electric car absolutely i remember when import racing when they said the same thing about imports they said the same thing this is nonsense racing a honda a four-cylinder where's my chevy i was there I was one of the guys that said that. I was in the Honda. I, I was wrong. Yeah, and man, this stuff, uh, you know, look at it today. It's import racing is alive, it's strong, it has a huge fan base, and electric racing will get the same thing than the you, next generation. You need things, people like Steve, you know, vehicles like this, things like, you know, other racers that are shooting for goals to inspire people. You know, because that's what's going to get people off their asses and say, oh, my God, I didn't think that could be done. Can we go to a, do you know what it's like to drive? I do. I do know what it's like to, to, take, to drive a ride 200 miles per hour. Man, it's crazy. It's awesome. And to get that ride, uh, for somebody to build a 200 mile per hour internal combustion engine, they've, you've got to have a lot of time, a lot of experience, a hell of a lot of money, and, uh, and, a, and a big crew. And don't get me wrong. I love it. It's fun. It's great. But... You know, I want to show people that you can go out and you can do that in an electric car. And, uh, and you know, like Kirk was saying, it's not going to be long. There's, in fact, a friend of mine is opening up an electric car salvage yard. Um, we'll, talk, we'll talk about that sometime later. But Yeah, there's so much. It's so interesting. I love it. It's so captivating. A couple cons that I got to bring up. And please take no offense to this whatsoever, okay? Because we see some negativity on YouTube. I just oh, yeah. assume. I read I'm the comments. <laughs> Anybody comments? Let me preface oh, this. Oh. Let me preface this by saying this, though. By and large, people are so stoked and so behind what you're doing. I think the view count proves that. And I'd also like to say, uh, with the negativity directed towards yours truly, I understand that. I could put sunshine and rainbows out there, and still a small percentage of people are going to say I suck and it's terrible. The downfall of what you're doing according to the very small percentage is that, hey, that thing doesn't make noise. That's not a show. That's not what drag racing is all about. How would you counter that? I don't know. I, I don't necessarily disagree. Um, I do think that that's a part that, that I, I wish we did. Uh, you know, I wish I, I, I wish it did make noise. Uh, if that's the worst thing that can be, that's, that's the worst complaint that there is, well, so be it. But uh, I from think, a, you know, I think that the, the sound of, of a race car or a, a hot rod that's been a sound that's been around for a long time and people got to ride in those cars and they they coupled those sounds with that sensation you know like yeah. that feeling yeah. i think that in the not too distant future it's not gonna be right away um but i think that in a not too distant future when someone hears a hopped up ev oh. there's going to be a sound and a sensation that goes along with that. When you hear tires wanting to rip away from a track, that's a sound that nobody's heard. And so that's, that's, a, that's yeah, it's violent. violent. It's, it's, it's a very eerie sound. And, uh, and listening to these track directors, track officials, safety officials, spectators, fellow racers, they come to me after a race and they're like, man, I could hear the tires all the way down at the big end of the track. And I've never, ever heard that before. It's, I know it doesn't sound like a top fuel car because I'm punchy in the chest, but hey, you know, the nationals only come to town once a year. Uh, you know, there's, uh, uh, you know, motorcycle racing is great. There's, a, you know, your motorcycle, Jack, for instance, isn't very loud. No, Nobody sure complains isn't. complains about that. But, uh, well, my take on it is this. Drag racing was built on variety, and yep. you have an excellent, excellent side attraction here that is so impressive and so cool. Uh, speaking of how quiet it is, I got to say there's one thing that I actually warn people about. Me being a longtime drag racing guy... Mm -hmm. This thing caught me off guard. I found myself getting maybe a little bit too close to you, trying to get those close shots, not realizing, oh my God, he's ready to punch the gas back off. Is there is there a danger there in that you know when a top fuel dragster is revving up, getting ready to go? You you, you well, go you, from you know, perfectly quiet. You know how we take care of this? I, I, I go like this. 
hey, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sincerely thank you once again for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I want to thank those of you out there who have referred friends. I know a lot of you have because I read each and every comment and a lot of us have gone back and forth and you've told me that you've referred friends. Thank you so much. If you know anybody at all, who loves motorcycles, who wants to be a part of this journey, who wants to be a part of this story, they are more than welcome. We also welcome any story idea or any question you may have. Thanks so much, guys, for subscribing to Cycle Drag on YouTube, hitting the bell for notifications, and liking CycleDrag.com on Facebook. And this is also your spot for all things fast electric racing. Thanks so much, Steve Huff. There's a lot more to see in here on this journey. Make sure you are locked in and never miss a video. Simply subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube and let us know your thoughts on this wild and crazy, exciting electric drag racing craze.